Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at another working executor for Roblox after the Bifront update. Now, I do suggest watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important download steps. And let's get right into it. So the very first thing you want to do is make sure you're on Windows 10 or 11. This will not work on any other operating system. Head over onto your Windows icon. If you're on Windows 11, it's going to be right here. And if you're on Windows 10, it's going to be in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and click that and search for virus and threat protection. Go ahead and open that up and you will see this page right here. Over here, go into manage settings and turn off real time protection at the very top. You'll be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now you need to turn this off. Otherwise, you will not be able to download the executor. Once you've gone ahead and turned this off, close out of that page and go into the first link in the description, which will be the download link for this executor. The link will take you to this website right here. It won't be the same page, but it will be a similar page and it will be for the video that you're currently watching. From here, go ahead and click on the download step. So it will give you an option to click here. Once you do click that, it will take you to this page over here. If it doesn't instantly take you there and it asks you to complete a little step, go ahead and do the step. And if it opens a little pop up, uh, which means it will open up a new tab. So you can simply close out that new tab and click the link again. And that should take you to this page over here. From here, complete these steps again and you will be taken to the download page, as you can see right here. And from here, go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm gonna choose my desktop and I'm gonna click save and that should start the download process for you. Now, if for any reason your download does not uh, continue from this step, um, despite having your antivirus turned off, then you can simply press Control and press J at the same time and that will open up your downloads folder. You can also open it by going over here and going into your downloads by clicking that and you can approve your download from here manually. Now, once you do have your download, simply go ahead and double click that and it will open up the download manager for you. From here, click on next and it will ask you if you wish to download any other programs. Now, it's completely up to you if you want to have um, any of these uh, offers. So, for example, it's offering me a VPN right now. I already have a VPN, so I'll just click on decline and same with the Adobe software. So, I'll do the decline again and it's giving me an antivirus um as well so i'm going to click decline again and there we go so once you've done all of that it will give you a little uh, page right here click on open and it will give you a link to copy so just go ahead and copy the link um and i do want to let you know this will <laughs> this link will not work for you guys you have to generate your own link um so you make sure you follow the steps in the video and get your own link just like that so go ahead and copy the link and open it in a new tab and once you do open it, it will give you the download for the executor. Now, for me, I've already got it downloaded. So I'll just click cancel for now. And there we go. So there's our download for the executor. Again, if the download does not approve for any reason, you can hold down control and press J and you can approve it from here. Um, and you can see that we've got our executor downloaded. So from here, you can delete this. And uh, OK, this is kind of because it's open currently. OK, let me close out that and let me close out that also. Let's right clean and now there we go so you can now get rid of that and you're ready to now extract the file so to extract the folder you need to right click it and click on extract all and click on extract and that will create a new folder for you as you can see um just go ahead and close out of that new folder as well for now and delete the zipped folder now at this point you need to go back into your virus and threat protection go ahead and open that up and go into manage settings once again scroll down until you see exclusions go ahead and click on add or remove exclusions click on add an exclusion choose folder and from here choose wherever you have your oxygen u folder created for me it's on my desktop so just go ahead and single click that folder make sure you don't double click it if you've accidentally done that just click back and make sure the folder is highlighted just like that and click select and you should see it added to your exclusions over here. Once that has been done, you can go back now and turn on your real time protection if you wish to do that. Now, at this point, you're ready to use the executor. So go ahead and open up the folder again and double click this file over here. From here, if you do get this little um, option, go and click on more info and click run anyway. And that will launch the executor for you and it will create the files that it needs to create. And there we go. Um, Perfect. So for me, it just bugged out there. Now, at this point, it will ask you for a key. In my case, it didn't because I have already completed my um, I have already done my steps. So the key will last for 24 hours. Um, you can simply click on get key, follow the steps. It's pretty simple um, and get the key and you will be able to then use the executor. 
for 24 hours and then you need to get the key again which only takes about two minutes and yeah that's pretty much how you get the executor um and how you get the key um at this point what you can do is you can explore the other options so let's go through that before we actually use the executor so firstly you've got topmost and what that does is if you've got that turned on even if you click other files or folders in the background this will still always stay on top and if i turn it off you can see that it now goes into okay well i guess it's glitched because it should have gone into the background but it hasn't so i'll leave topmost on uh, auto launch i'll leave that off save size what that does is pretty much if you readjust the size of the executor when you come back to it later it will still be the same size even if you close it and reopen it um now you also got auto launch so that will oh, sorry auto attach which will automatically attach um as soon as you open roblox which is useful to have you also got anti obs which is to do with the obs and um recording software i believe you don't need to worry about that you've also got fps unlocker and um block join auto discord join so which is basically it automatically throws into the discord every time you touch so if you want to disable that you can click that now let's actually go into roblox and show you how this executor works so again you need to have the microsoft store version of roblox to use this executor as of right now there is no working executor for the web version of roblox at the at the moment um of course subscribe to the channel and as soon as that is available i will be the first to upload that for you guys um but there we go so you simply want to go into your microsoft store which you can also search over here and go into there and go into your roblox you can sign into your roblox and yeah so pretty much once you've loaded it in um you need to click this little inject button as you can see right here so go ahead and click that and it will start injecting into roblox now if you have auto touch on you don't necessarily have to do this um, you might have to do it the first time you're launching Roblox, um, but after that, you don't have to do that. But here we go. So we just loaded into Roblox. All right. Now, at this point, we can go into a Roblox game. So let's go ahead and load into Arsenal. And you can see it says Oxygen UWP um, has injected. Now, let me go ahead and open up a little script here that I can use for Arsenal. Um, we fully loaded into the game. Now, let me go ahead and click on Execute. And that should work. As you can see, it is working in the background. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what's happened to the Oxygen U um, kind of like close button over here. They don't have the, the cross or the minimize button anymore. So I simply just have to close it like that. Um, yeah, so that's that's one thing you can do. Or you can just drag it off your screen. Um, and yeah, so there we go. You can see it's working perfectly fine. There are no issues whatsoever. Oxygen U is definitely one of the executors that I would recommend to everyone. It has been around for a very long time and they are definitely trustworthy when it comes to um, any sort of risks or any malware. Now, let's go ahead and actually try the script. So let's turn on some visuals. Here we go. And how about we just turn on kill all. <laughs> I love the way they added ban risk. I think I don't think that was there before. Uh, I just turn on kill all and deploy into the game and yeah let's just have some fun that should end the game pretty quickly nope okay kill all for some reason isn't actually even working that's a little odd I think it might have been uh, disabled by the developers of the actual script I don't think it's got anything to do with okay here we go I'm gonna turn on kill aura and there we go kill aura is working as you can see my kill feed on top right it is the script is a little laggy uh there we go instant kill let's do ignore rules ignore okay there we go okay there we go now my killer is also working and my rage bot and everything is also working let me turn off kill aura for a second and let's quickly finish this game and yeah that's pretty much how you use this executor guys someone saying nice hacks in the chat uh, my game is slightly lagging because of the script it's got nothing to do with the executor guys don't worry um, so there is slightly lagging because it's trying to render a lot of frames at once as you can see there's a lot of go uh, things going on on my screen at once and there we go that's pretty much the actual executor again you can simply grab your own script put it into the executor and you can use any script for any roblox game and yeah hopefully you did enjoy the video guys if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching